Hey everybody, this is a tutorial on a tool that you're going to need to troubleshoot um, your cable and it's called a toner. So in previous videos I've discussed the importance of having one line coming from the tap being split on one splitter then going to your modem. So if you're trying to troubleshoot that issue, you're trying to track down a line uh, most likely you're going to need one of these toners and what they do is they're going to send a signal through the cable so you can determine where it begins and where it ends. So this is how it works. So you're trying to locate this uh, cable on this on the wall through a wall plate. You're going to stick this on here. Screw it on here. And then you'll probably have to go outside to the junction box outside of your house or possibly there might be some junctions up in the attic or even the basement perhaps. And you're going to need one of these guys here to stick on the other end, um, these, one of these little barrels. Just screw that guy in here. Screw it in. And then most of them are, all these toners are really set up the same way. You're gonna have this little uh, this little guy here. It's a speaker or a whistler. And you stick it on here. It's gonna let you know. Now, if you stick this on the other end of the cable, and it doesn't, doesn't make any sound, then you either got the wrong cable or there is a splitter on this line somewhere. So if it splits off, then the signal isn't gonna go through the splitter. That's the way they usually work. But um, yeah, so for line, isolate, line isolating and troubleshooting, um, I definitely would pick up one of these toners. Um, they're between 15 and 30 bucks. I actually got this one for $30 at the Home Depot. Um, it's a little expensive. You can get them on Amazon for like $15, but I needed one quick, so I had, had to go out and buy one at, at the uh, local Home Depot. But, um, but yeah, that's it. If you guys got any questions, be sure to comment, comment below and um, you know, share this video. Um, so that it, if anybody else has any problems with their cable, they can uh, look at this series of videos that I've made to troubleshoot cable and uh, cable issues and internet issues. All right, thank you for watching.